Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Expert Iron Man difficulty. And it is time to still investigate the murder of uh, Broker uh, Hovenop. That was her name, a little bit more. And uh, we do have a lead that her son might be with exactly these bandits. Who goes there? What are you doing? Uh, there isn't much talking involved. Today is more of a fighty fighty session where we are going to um, hopefully find the sun. Uh, this is one out of two potential locations where they could be and I got a good feeling about this. Why are these city maps so unbelievably large? It's... Wow. All right, look, point being, memory moves up. He stabilizes that Hodlum and apparently automatically kills him. That was not what I wanted to do, but okay. Yeah, these maps are too large. I think they need to work on the spawn points. I mean, look at that. After, after just one challenging shout. Oh, I see. This time I can't immediately kill you, but. I was about to say after one challenging shout, they're all done for, but they are not. Uh, this one, this criminal has survived surprisingly long. Well, there we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Um... So he moves up here and stern. Did he moves up there and stern? Stupid fight. Uh, I wish we would be starting a bit closer. This here gives you so much time to basically just ignore what everybody else is doing. That one pack of four isn't really a challenge and now the idea is that both sides are going to flank us but yeah that's not really going to happen anyhow everybody here gets orderly done we're just using that time in order to oops get full veiler which will make the next confrontation even easier. Wow, they are still far away. All right, Jim moves up. Can't really hit all three of them. Yeah, but we can heavily injure them. And thanks to their 
slowness. Um, there isn't really much they can do about it. There we go, big fat destabilization, followed by a nice little hit and a kill. And whilst we're at it, let's engage with that criminal. In the meantime, the other side is running and running and running. Move up. Sprint. Yeah, we unfortunately can't reach anyone. I'm almost convinced that we will be able with those uh, three to completely kill that side in order to speed up the fight a little bit, although it's never the optimal strategy. Let's begin to engage on the other side. Zoe is still a bit too slow. Look, she can't really get all the way there, which is a shame. There is the attack of opportunity I was hoping for. And... There is the slowdown, which completely disables that guy. Lily G sprints over here, moves all the way up. And slows them down even further. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have attacked, my friend. But on the other hand, what is he uh, going to do? If he does not attack, then they automatically lose. Pulls them a little bit closer. Fragility for the win. Followed up by a bit of bloodshed. Now we're engaging over here. I want to get rid of uh, his guard, uh, which we successfully have gotten rid of. Uh, those three together can already handle them very, very well. One side completely cleared. Feeling the bear for good measure. Alright, nice little crit. I like it. And you know what? 
just triggered Galvani uh, galvanization. Moves up, hit, hit, reset. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, we're already done. Well, that took longer than needed. It could have been done way before that. What do you want from us? We're not even wanted by the guards. The Hovenlord, son. Why are you looking for him? Does he? We don't have him. We don't know where he is. That night, we saw him enter the brothel. We waited all night for him to come out. But when we went in the next morning, he wasn't there. I don't know how he did it, but he did. Well, that's unfortunate. Do we have anything else here? No. We just killed... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We just killed a lot of men for no good reason. Okay, well, one out of two done. Let's dismantle a few of these uh, things here. Okay, moving on to the other side of uh, the map, which is right there. Murphy's Law demanded that it is, of course, the other side of the map. But maybe it is always the second, maybe we need to do two fights. I find it curious to see that if the enemy troop is split and you start together, the level 9 or 10 fights feel like no effort whatsoever. Let's take a rest here. Less food next day. And that new guy, he feels unhappy to be guarded by animals like mere cattle. You should thank us. There you go. It's very much neutral. Not sure if we can uh, work with him, but he's potentially not really a good fighter. Might as well let him go. There you go. Okay, so apparently there is another gang here, and apparently they are downstairs. Did Lord Eric Hovendor? Maybe now you can give up. We're shortly leaving because I forgot something very important. Swift progress and a bit more loot. Did Lord Eric hope maybe now you could get I just want to fight in a closer confined room. Doesn't need to be too close, but I don't want enemies to spend half of their time just walking towards us. See, same problem again. Appreciate that. This is how they wanted to create these particular fights. I think it's... It would have been better if uh, they would have just put them a bit closer together. Alright, tactical order.
into moving over here into breaking the guard and after that sweet sweet destabilization we're starting to hit them okay cool Polly has a bit of a bone to pick with uh, these guys here. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh my gosh, she's not going to even survive that. Wow. Hundred and two. Holy. Good. We give him the surrounded debuff. <laughs> and he takes a solid 102 extra damage. Roby gives us another Fury and we're moving up. All right, Miss Grell. Engages. And um, yeah, well, creates a lot of Valor. Enemy tries to work against her. But that doesn't really work out. I think I see an opportunity here. Triplet hit. Uh, yep, that was uh, good. Very good. And a kill. So that's a kill already. sure why we haven't had a reset but that's unfortunate I wanted that movement reset in the meantime these guys haven't even done anything with the enemies being spilled like that it's quite trivial to fight them There we go. Good hit. Not close enough, but we'll get there eventually. For now, Anders finishes that one side, sprinting up, end of turn. Right, very good. Uh, let's go with a brutality. Double hit. Aim is really good on the halibut here. Good, that's a double hit. I like it. And that's a tiny extra hit. Move 
Thumbs up. Kills. And we can reach him. Fantastic. Wrong door engaged. Would have never guessed that Namri is starting to be one of the main uh, DPS here. She's really doing a lot of damage. Good. Delhi moves up. Oh, look at you. Thought you were clever, eh? Alright, I think that teaches them a lesson. After him, his gambling decks are so high that all the punters are on his tail. Interesting. So that little son might be the culprit that we were looking for. Which now means if we are looking at our options. <sighs> Shouldn't we? Well, the broker might be the next best place to go. I was about to say, should we go back to the brothel? But they potentially don't know anything either. Good question. Um, before we answer that, how about... We're dismantling a bit of this here. Well, well, mercenaries. I hear you're having a grand old time. I'm not paying you to visit brothels. I demand to know where my brother is. Son of a crock swine. First that juggler, then the brothel, and now debts. By Saint Elior. Please tell me this isn't true. Fine. In this case, take your reward. No point spending another crown if all it does is sully my family's good name. I hope for his sake the bandits get him before I do. To think I suspected him of being involved in my mother's murder. With so much debt, he couldn't even get slaves to work for him. Eh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Depends on what he would have promised them, I guess. But we're not done yet. There is more to the story. A little bit of a murderous plot here. He must pay for his crime. By Jeru, you took your time, mercenaries. Let's push back the mob, then you will escort the ambassador. Okay, now we're fighting civilians. <coughs> How's that supposed to be a challenge? And let me guess, it's one of those massive maps again. I really don't like fighting in the streets here. Try to avoid it whenever possible. So, she's an important NPC, don't want to let her die. And these guys are like, what, level 9? And Okay, well, apparently the town folks here are going to the gym quite regularly. Oh, 
Okay, Dilly up to here. Dilly actually could be up here. Gives him a better position. Um, one, two, three. Okay, those uh, three would be an option. Good. In which case, we're doing that. And uh, tactical order into moving in. I'm not sure if killing civilians is the right thing to do here, but this game is morally more gray than the grayest uh, shade uh, than the fiftieth uh, shade of gray. Four. Seems about right. Let's aid Veller. Giving him a hard time. Clad doesn't look as uh, as well in shape anymore as he did before him. Yeah, no clad, not like that. I think this will clean up the entirety of this one side come closer and yeah they're down which neatly brings us to the other side like i mentioned wow If they can deal that much damage, I don't know why they are needing us. Well, maybe three, uh, three against that entire mob is a bit too ambitious, but you know, the enemy is just dealing like what 16 points of damage. I think they could actually go through it, but all by themselves. already triggered galvanize uh, gal galvanization <laughs> yeah not much that they can do with their little pitchforks Roby moves up, and if even the bear can already kill them, then, then you know, they are not really strong. You reinforcements incoming, but of course only on one side. No, on two sides. Down here as well. Well, that changes it a bit, I would say. Oh. 
208 points of damage. Nice. to here 121 holy well never mind to here hits these two moves there triggers galvanization again don't poke the bear you should have learned that by now Yeah, I take it away, the three of them would have not been able to kill all of uh, the peasants. But they most certainly would have been able to kill the first batch of them. should do it not really proud uh, of mowing down all of the peasants all right, then. take the peace between Alazar and Gosenberg depends on his survival make haste before more rioters arrive uh, who are you by the way civilian a lesson an ambassador Level one. What is this here for reference? Run quickly. Yeah, I don't want to fight another pitchfork wielding sets of peasants. Luckily, we are faster. Okay, how is this not the target location? It's called safely to the postern. Well, where is that? Oh, over here. Over here. Very good. Is the ambassador safe? Perfect. You've done well, mercenaries. Here is your reward. For we will question the ambassador about Willa's murder. If he is innocent, we will help him to return to Alazar until things settle down here. I won't lie. In the past, Alazar turned to the Rooks to take out troublesome brokers. It could be the case here, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's a lead right there. The interrogation may last a while. But I much prefer facing the guard than the fate that the crowd have in store for me. Thank you for bringing me to safety. I had nothing to do with Broker Willa Old Ovendorf's death. In fact, I had a business meeting planned with her that evening at the embassy. Okay. 
You've received a letter from the Brotherhood. They're waiting for your investigation. And we shall comply. Uh, maybe we can combine it with a bit of an exploration here. I haven't seen the lens uh, so far. Just out of curiosity, can we upgrade our last our last uh, building? Yes, we can. We now have a fully upgrade, at least to my knowledge, a fully upgraded cam, unless something is still missing. Did you give him a beating? Good. Kogo and Toro were unbearable. Come here. And I'll tell you all about oh, it. Oh, nice. Learn the dualist specialization. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Who got that? Uh, final blow. Well, for starters, okay, so dualist is a damage dealer. I don't want to do that. I like Namri the way she is. Uh, deals damage to the target and gains repost the next time. Yeah, okay, I see. So the duelist potentially would work well with uh, counter-attack. I don't know if you can stack repost, but that uh, might that might join a roost be match? a good Step build. Right up. Don't be shy. The more the merrier. A game of roost is played in teams of eight. Six on the pitch and two substitutes. The aim is to get the ball to the opponent's end zone. That's an amazing reward for the winning team. A fine pony for plowing fields. Generously donated by Broker Burner. Do we need another pony? I think we're okay with our ponies. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll do that uh, when time permits. Refreshments to the crowd and the players. Have as many drinks as you like. Why not meet some local growers while you're at the tournament? Enjoy the many talents of our ghost and burgers. You know what? Might as well There's do it. An amazing reward. Assemble your team. Uh, this unit favors strength. Yes. Yes. And another strength based unit. Yes. <clears throat> then some speed. Uh, some more speed. And uh, some more speed. Uh, sounds like a good team for me. Um, the captain starts the match movement increased by two. Well, that's going to be Anders here. Movement increased two. Chance. Okay, we want some strikers and uh, some defenders. Let's go. Grab the ball and bring it into the opponent's end zones. The game is divided into eight rounds. All units on the ground will start uh, will stand up again at the beginning of each new round. Uh, any unit already played who gets the ball can what? Any unit already played who gets the ball can play again. Good, we got pass. I see. So our defense here, here, and here. Our strikers here, here, and here. Uh, they also do have a ball. Dodge. This unit will dodge nearby tackles. This unit will try to knock down an opponent in their path. 
Okay, I see how it is. Moves up here. And ends the turn. What the hell? Oh, I see. Okay, I should have maybe moved. No way! Foul! Okay, okay, I see. Well, we can foul as well. And we can pick up an ally, okay. Okay, that's a fun little mini game. I tell you what. Pick up an ally. We can't move on afterwards. No! Tackled! Don't like it. Alright, pass. Poorly. And then end the turn. Pass to Dilly. Wits and the tackle. Everybody else gets back up. All right, uh, we're starting to clar uh, clarify a couple of things. Uh, namely, don't fuck around with our back line. Well, that's two solid tackles right there. Triple tackle. Um, moves to here. Pass the ball. Memory is a strong one. Ah, got ta got tackled. Oh, that is unfortunate. Another tackle. There's a bit of a lack of sportsmanship here. A distinct lack of sportsmanship. up and big fat kick into the end zone
takes the ball. And kicks it into the end zone. Namri. Make sure that we're not getting tackled. She's basically just tackling. And then we're getting tackled as well. Not sure if we should do that. Um, I think we're better off if we're just running. Enemy is certainly, or opponent team, I shouldn't say enemy. Well, they are the enemy. <laughs> Jim is tackling everybody, that's good. Uh, uh, before he gets tackled, which is not so good. Gets Jim up, but Jim can't act anymore. So if we're moving up, the only thing that we can do is hold the line or knock someone down. Yeah, but that was stupid because now there is a new round and everybody gets up. Picks up the ball. I think we're safe here. Hopefully. Uh, uh. But we have two balls, so it's impossible for them to prevent us from scoring both. Uh, from scoring at least one of them. Wow, Namri, I'm disappointed. Not only did you not hit, but you got tackled badly. Look, Jim is showing you how it's done. One. Two. Right? That's how you take out their, uh, their strikers. The idea of the game is good, but it plays really strangely because tackling seems so incredibly strong. Standing up, punching them down again. And then what? Nothing, right? Good, so we're scoring. We actually scored 2 0. Interesting. Tackle. Into making sure that <laughs> they are not going to come any closer. But they will do the exact same. 
A nasty taco. Moves to here. Passes the ball. And unfortunately can't even <coughs> get our uh, get our own guy up. Now you're losing a lot of action economy if you're laying on the ground. Eighty percent chance, and we yet again cannot uh, pick him up. Why did I even put assist the line in if there is no point in it? Move over there. And end of turn. Tackled, but we can't move there. Putting hold the line in, and that's about it. Everybody gets up. Polly. Tackles. And uh, tackles, which I th currently tackling like this double tackle is one of the most efficient ways of uh, going about it. Because really what you're doing is you're taking their actions away and all they can do is then tackle you. Good. They have no further options available for them. We can now pick up the ball. Kick it far into the midfield. That ball lands and yeah, all they can do is stand up. They can't move afterwards. up here help Stilly up Polly just moves I think far enough away to not get hit by anyone Pick up the ball and uh, shoot it to here. Oh boy, I disapprove. But luckily we got the tackle. And it's the last round, unless we're kind of dropping the ball, they can't score. 
No way. Oh, nasty tackle. Beg your pardon, how did that work? Wow! Kalin here seems to be the uber UFC fighter. There you go. Tackled you at least once. Match is over. Well, we got some XP and it was a fun little journey. Looks like, you know... Grinmere isn't the only place where people play. Broker burner seem to be low on crowns lately, but lo and behold, he donates a pony. It's a good thing he's back on track. We were this close to awarding the winners with a bundle of carrots. So ponied up, um, more carrying capacity, faster travel speed, more carry capacity. More carry capacity, more carry capacity, and you guessed it, more carry capacity. Good, we're now at almost 600 carrying capacity. So we got uh, Inappropriate Murphy, Eva Murphy, and Little Murphy, and uh, then we got Ponied Up. I think the name is quite fitting. Party is getting a bit too big for my liking. Um, I have to wonder if we might want to part ways with Pervert. Well, he's a good source of wood uh, for now, so maybe we're just... Don't worry about. Uh, we're just uh, leaving him. Anyways, uh, that is a good end. It's almost an hour. I'll make my way down here, and uh, that's where we continue the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and uh, ride safely. Thanks. Bye bye.